what's up y'all it's unique divination this is urban mystic tv and i am doing my july readings and this one is going to be for aries all right what we got going on with aries what we got going on for aries for july These cards is like falling out. Ah oh, man, I should have picked it up. I put it back in the thing. I can't find it. King of Pentacles, Aries. <laughs> you starting off July with the King of Pentacles, right? Um, I don't know if there's an investment that you wanted to do. I don't know if you're afraid of it, but July is definitely the month that you want to make uh, that specific investment that you were trying to make, Aries. All right? Definitely the King of Pentacles. Um, and it actually, damn, it has your sign on here. Aries and Taurus right here. See the Aries thing? So definitely... Um, invest invest check the numbers check your numbers if you can run them by anybody or whatever but this is going to be a good month for you to invest aries do you hear me do you hear me <laughs> see and whatever the investment may bring is going to bring you some cheddar but if you don't do it i mean you can do it any other month but i think specifically for july um I will move forward with it. Whatever it is, whatever the investment is, it's going to turn out good for you, right? Turn out so good. So fucking good, Aries. Look at this. Water perfected success. Whatever an investment you decide to make, Aries, uh, look at this. It's just, it's going to work out all the way around. Um, if we're looking at it money-wise, yes. If we're looking at this as far as relationship-wise, that person that you've been seeing or dating, you know, and you can't seem to get them out of your head, I think it would be time to invest and take it a step further in your relationship, Aries, right? If we're looking at this from a love perspective, um, go ahead and invest in that in that person, that woman or that man that you have been... It's like official, but it's not. Go ahead and just throw a label on it. Throw a label on it. That's your boyfriend. That's your girlfriend. Whatever. Um, if you are engaged and you are thinking about contemplating marriage, propose. Aries, propose this month. Propose. Uh, everything, all the energy, the way how everything is aligning for you, Aries, in the month of July. It's going to do, all it's going to do is get better from here. Okay gets better three of swords saturn and libra um i don't know if you're gonna lose a libra somebody some a libra that's close to you you guys are gonna fall out um you may not even speak anymore or for a very long time so watch out for that libra sun libra moon um, or unfortunately, I don't know, maybe a Libra close to you may be passing or is really sick. Some really, some really not good, not so good news with a Libra in your life, Aries, for the month of July. All right. Something that's going to bring, make you very sad. I don't know if they're going to be sick. Um, like I said, somebody's terminally ill. There's a falling out with a Libra. Maybe a Libra's breaking your heart, but something's going to happen with a Libra that's not going to have you feeling good this month. Ace of Cups. Um, it's going to open up the floodgates as far as whatever this is with the Libra. Um, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It's just you're going to be very emotional um, this month and with good reason because what Aries is a fire sign. And we're in cancer season right now, so 
you know, you may not know how to deal with that cancer energy. It may have you kind of wacky and we know water puts out fire. So think about that. Lord of Defeat. Um, I don't know the situation with this Libra. <sighs> Whatever the bad news is, it's going to have you fucked up for this month and it's going to be okay. Um, you got to work through it. Can't nobody tell you how long it's going to take for you to get over something, but just prepare yourself, okay? If this message resonates with you. So we've got some interesting things going on. You, you, you're going to be investing, like I said, financially investing in something that's going to bring you joy. And on a, on a love level, on a relationship level, investing, taking that next step with your loved one is going to bring you so much happiness, but then you're going to have something going on with a good friend, whoever it is that Libra in your life that's close, that's going through, they're going to tell you some things about them, they're sick or something, and it's just going to have you so distraught and fucked up. So we've got some good and we've got some bad that may be taking place. Um, and Aries for the month of June, and unfortunately, um, it may not end too well for the situation with the Libra in your life, okay? So just prepare yourself. I don't like to, I don't like to give good news, but I have to give, I mean, bad news, but I have to give what the cards are giving me, right? And so unfortunately it may end in somebody's demise. Maybe they're gonna walk out of your life. I don't know, but just look out for that Aries and let me know. Um, you know, after you, after this month is out, if anything ever happened that way. So, Knight of Wands. He's going f full forward. I don't know. He's going forward, straight ahead. And so I would tell you to kind of transmutate that energy. It's got Scorpio and Sagittarius on here. Transmutate that energy and use it and channel it, the, the situation that's going to be bad with the Libra person. Um, channel that energy into something creative. Um, don't let that don't let that energy consume you and, and have you sorrowful and just not want to do shit. Transmutate that energy into something positive for you. Okay? And let me see here. The High Priestess. She's sitting on some books. Uh, some Aries. I don't know what the Aries think about going back to school. You know, college. So, summer semester just started, depending on what school you're going to. Um, pick up school, trade. You know, um, look into something this month about a particular school or trade or some type of craft that you can get into. You know what I mean? Um just for money not only just for money but also um to pass the time past time activities right and we'll do one more card the devil reversed all right the devil this is i love this card this is me capricorn um the devil reversed vices um addictions if you're working on trying to get rid of some bad habits some nasty addictions um you know this month would be the perfect time to let all that shit go for my aries that are going through rocky relationships separation or divorce might be coming to a head this month either you're going to get the divorce this month or you know start with the paperwork or something but you're going to be getting out of something toxic this month like i said addiction bad habits a toxic ass relationship for those aries that are in those situations okay all right so aries you've got a lot of stuff going on in this month a lot of things that could be happening you know somebody close to you that has libra in their charts you know, maybe going through some things sick, you know, not feeling too well. It's going to leave you kind of fucked up. But then, you know, if, if you're in a relationship or really fond of somebody, if you invest that time into them for this month and really take it further, 
It's going to leave you emotionally, physically, spiritually happy. And financially, if you plan on investing into whatever it is that you want to invest in, it's going to leave you emotionally, um, spiritually, and just physically fucking happy. And you'll be prosperous, right? So that concludes my July 2018 reading for Aries. Um, if this resonates with you, comment below. Talk to me, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I need to know. I don't care if you agree or disagree with me. Um, y'all, y'all let me know what y'all, how y'all feel underneath these comments, okay? Um, and then I will try to finish up the rest of the zodiac sign, um, sometime this week, all right? While the month is still early. So I will be talking to you all later, okay? Bye-bye.